subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Orca. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Look at my digital voice recorder, Hero. I'm recording the chirping of birds. Do you hear that? That's the first sound I recorded. I think it comes from a sparrow. Let's try to record more birds. Listen, there's another bird. What a beautiful song it is singing. Do you hear that, Hero? I've never heard that sound before. What bird makes such a sound? Let's find out. What is it here? <gasps> Whoa! Hello, Junior Ranger. Ranger Rocky, what are you doing here? I rescued this orca, and I'm on my way to release it in the sea. Perhaps you Junior Rangers would like to join me. We would love to, Ranger Rocky. Let's surprise my sister Katie. She is also a Junior Ranger. Let's take a photo of the orca and send it to her. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. It seems that orcas are also called killer whales. However, they are actually more closely related to dolphins than whales. People also call them wolves of the sea because orcas like to hunt in packs, just like wolves do. Orcas can be found in all oceans of the world. Orcas from different areas eat different types of food. Some hunt for fish, some prefer squid, and others eat seals or sharks. The orca that Ranger Rocky rescued comes from New Zealand, and orcas there mainly eat sharks and stingrays. The New Zealand orcas may become endangered because there are fewer than 200 of them left. Maybe that's why Ranger Rocky is taking the orca home. I'm really excited to join Ranger Rocky and take the orca back home. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky, why did you rescue this orca? This orca was kept in a tank so that people could get to see it up close. Many people are curious about orcas, but it's not easy to find them in the wild. So some zoos and theme parks put orcas on display. Orcas are huge animals that need a lot of space to swim freely. In fact, swimming long distances is important to an orca's health but they can't do it if they are kept in a tank. Orcas in the wild get to move around freely. Their health is better, they feel happier, and so they live longer. We should look for an area without boats or fishing nets. Orcas sometimes get hit by boats or caught in nets. We'll find a good place for this orca. Look, there's something on the beach. It's an orca. Oh, no! We have to act quickly, or it will die. I've informed the whale rescuers. They have equipment to lift beach whales and orcas back into the water. Do we just wait here for them? It might take too long for the rescuers to arrive. Do you have any spades? Yes, yes we, do. we do! Great! We'll dig a hole under each of the orca's flippers so that they can hang freely. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Is this deep enough, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's good, Leo. Now we need to fill these holes with seawater. Here, use these buckets. Okay, Ranger Rocky. Excellent, Junior Rangers. Now we have to place wet towels over the orca to keep it wet and cool. 
We'll make sure these towels are wet, Ranger Rocky. Now, we'll pour water on the towels to keep them wet. We just need to be careful not to get any water into the orca's blowhole, because the orca breathes through it. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Ranger Rocky, the rescue team is here. Great. They will take care of this orca. Let's continue on our journey to find our orca's home. We did it. We found the orca a home. Great job, everybody. Rocky rescued an orca from captivity. We learned that orcas need to live freely in the ocean. So we joined Ranger Rocky and brought the orca back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan pangolin. Hiya! Take that and that. Ha ha! My loyal hound, Hero, is here. Oh, hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And now, I'm also a knight. Hero, I need your help defeating this imaginary monster. <coughs> here, take that, and that, and that. Ah, he's getting away. After it. Whoa! Watch your step, Hero. What's that? Be on guard, Hero. It could be a dragon. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. So, is it a dragon I found? Hey, Leo. <laughs> no, you didn't find a dragon. You found a young pangolin. A pangolin? Yes, there are different types of pangolins, but this one is a Malayan pangolin. But it looks just like a dragon. It even has armor, just like the one I'm wearing. Just like your armor, the scales on the pangolin protect it from danger. Pangolins are very shy creatures, so when they're frightened, they curl into a ball and hide. I must have frightened it when I took pictures of it. So, where do pangolins usually live? Pangolins live in Asia and Africa. The one you found comes from Southeast Asia. Adult pangolins like to live alone. But mother pangolins will stay and protect their children until they know how to protect themselves. Then our young pangolin must be lost. We must bring him back home to his mother. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Looks like we're in the jungle. What is it, Hero? Ah! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hi there, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the jungle. We have to be very quiet. There is a tiger on the prowl. Ah, I see you've brought a young pangolin. Oh, dear. Isn't the tiger one of the pangolin's main predators? That means we need to bring baby pangolin home to his mother fast. Only she can protect him. But where can we find her? While some pangolins live in small underground homes called burrows, the Malayan pangolin is known to sleep in holes in trees called hollows. They also like living close to their favorite food. 
Malayan pangolins use their thick and strong claws to dig, searching for ants and termites to eat. So, to find baby pangolin's mother, all we have to do is look for a hollow close to insects. That's right, Leo. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Don't worry, baby pangolin. We'll get you home in no time. Besides, we have Hero to protect us. <laughs> <gasps> What's that? <gasps> it's the tiger! The pangolin is protecting itself by curling into a ball and rolling away. Quickly, let's follow it. Oh no, a log is in our way. Uh, it won't move. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Come Junior Rangers, let's go. Not you, Tiger! We did it! The pangolin found his mom! Yay! Hooray! Today, we found a young Malayan pangolin in our garden. We learned that pangolins live underground and in hollows in trees. So we went to the jungle and brought the young pangolin safely home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Rothschild's Giraffe. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, this is a remote control plane my uncle gave me. Do you want to see if it works? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Woohoo, it's flying. Look, Hero, I'll make the plane turn. Oh no, my plane. Oh great, it looks fine. Oh wow, it's a giraffe. <laughs> It's so tall. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hey, giraffe, say cheese. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The giraffe in our garden is a Rothschild's giraffe. Most giraffes have orange or brown patches on their legs. The Rothschild's giraffe, however, is the only giraffe with no markings on their legs from the knees down. But that's not all that makes the Rothschild's giraffe different. Rothschild's giraffes have five ossicones on their heads. Ossicones are horn-like shapes. Other giraffes have only two ossicones. Wow! So we have a very special giraffe in our garden. And guess what? The giraffe you found is still young, and it can grow to become almost twice as tall. That's up to six meters. Unfortunately, the Rothschild's giraffe is also one of the rarest giraffes in the world, which means there are only a few of them left. Currently, Wild Rothschild's giraffes live in protected areas in Uganda and Kenya in eastern Africa. Hmm. It's very important that we find a home for the giraffe in one of those protected areas. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. Ray 
Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have a young Rothschild's giraffe with you today. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We are taking it to a protected area because there aren't many Rothschild's giraffes left in the world. The number of Rothschild's giraffes has decreased over the years. In fact, they are endangered, which means they could be gone from this world forever. People hunt them for their meat and skin. Some people even hunt them for their tails, which are made into good luck charms. Oh no, that's so sad. But there might be hope for them. As you may know, Rothschild's giraffes live in protected areas. There are also a few hundred Rothschild's giraffes kept in zoos. Perhaps the number of Rothschild's giraffes will increase. I hope that happens. So how can we find a good home for our giraffe ranger, Rocky? Rothschild's giraffes live in small herds, so you should find a herd for your giraffe to join. These giraffes love to eat the leaves of the thorny acacia tree. If you can find acacia trees, you'll probably find other Rothschild's giraffes. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. What happened, Leo? Let me take a look, Katie. Oh no, the rear wheels are stuck in the mud, and we're in the middle of nowhere. What should we do? Hmm, let me see. We need to remove as much mud as we can from around the tires. That way, the tires can get unstuck more easily. Okay, let's start digging. This should work. Now we have to look for twigs and dry leaves. If we place these under the tires and on the tire tracks, the tires can get a firmer grip. We should be able to drive out of the mud. Hmm, but I don't see any twigs lying around. That's okay, Leo. The giraffe is picking twigs for us. Smart giraffe! This should be enough. Thank you, giraffe. Katie, you drive the jeep, then I'll push it. Okay, Leo. It's working! Yay! Take good care, giraffe. We did it! We found the Rothschild's giraffe a home. Great job, everybody! Yay! Hooray! A Rothschild's giraffe in our garden. We learned that Rothschild's giraffes are protected in some places because there aren't many Rothschild's giraffes left in the world. So we took the giraffe to one of those places where it's protected so it can live with other Rothschild's giraffes. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Indian star tortoise. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play soccer, Hero. Get the ball! Hey, where can it be? I saw the ball going in this direction. Did you find it, Hero? Hey, that's not my football. It's hard and smooth. It looks like a turtle. What a pretty shell you have. I wonder what kind of turtle you are. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mr. Turtle. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This tortoise is an Indian star tortoise. That's a very suitable name for this animal. 
The Indian star tortoise comes from India, Sri Lanka, and parts of Pakistan. And, as you have noticed, the Indian star tortoise has star-like markings on its round shell. They look amazing, but what are those markings for? With the star-like markings on its shell, this tortoise can hide very well among grasses or plants. Their hard shells help to protect them, but they are still preyed upon by large birds and reptiles such as snakes. So Indian star tortoises have to hide themselves well from these sharp predators. Indian star tortoises normally live in dry scrub forests or grasslands. They can hide much better there. These places also provide the right kind of food for them, like grasses, flowers, and fallen fruit. Then we have to bring this Indian star tortoise back home, where it can hide and find the right food to eat. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the Scrub Forest. Ah, an Indian star tortoise. It's one of the prettiest tortoises I've ever seen, Ranger Rocky. Apart from its beauty, the Indian star tortoise is also gentle and shy. Unfortunately, the peaceful and nature beauty of Indian star tortoises are also the reasons why people like to keep them as pets. And in many countries, it is illegal to keep Indian star tortoises as pets. Illegal? You mean we're not allowed to keep them as pets? Correct, Leo. Though it's not allowed, there are still people who catch these tortoises and sell them around the world. Indian star tortoises get stressed and cold when they are taken away from their home and sent to other countries. Even if an Indian star tortoise survives the journey, its new home may not be suitable for it. Indian star tortoises do not like damp or cold places. They cannot breathe properly in such places. Poor tortoises! Your tortoise must have escaped from its owner and landed up in your garden somehow. You have to bring it back to a place that is dry and warm. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Come on, guys. Let's continue on foot. Look, Leo. There is a man over there. What is he doing? Hey, he picked up an Indian star tortoise. Why is he running? Maybe he's an illegal pet trader hunting for Indian star tortoises. So he might take the poor tortoise to another country and sell it. Hero, wait for us. Oh, wow. There are so many Indian star tortoises here. I hope they're all right. Don't worry, Leo. A tortoise will protect itself from getting hurt by hiding in its shell. Luckily, these tortoises are unharmed from the fall. Phew! Let's put them back into the container carefully. Enjoy the sun and the grass, little ones. We did it! We found a home for the Indian star tortoises. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! an Indian star tortoise in our garden. We learned that Indian star tortoises like to live in dry and warm places and that the star patterns on their shells help them hide in grass. So we found a nice home for the tortoise where it can enjoy the sunlight with other Indian star tortoises. 
Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.